The city of Laodicea was an incredibly wealthy city. Located on the trade routes north and south, east and west, they were able to do amazing amount of banking and commerce. In this city, there grew up a school of medicine that became famous for its ability to help people with their hearing and with their eyesight problems. Some became so famous as doctors, they were put on the coins in the city. With this wealth came the ability to build gymnasiums, clubhouses, and even a big theater. As you walk through this place, you have the sense that it was a bustling city worthy of great pride from the people. This is exactly why Jesus chose to use it as the symbol of God's people at the end of time. As he wrote this letter in Revelation 3 to the last of seven churches, he knew what it would be like for believers living right before Jesus returned. And his great concern was that in this, this sense of pride, this sense of wealth, they would forget that they had a deep spiritual poverty if they did not have Jesus. And so he wrote to them and said, you think that you're wealthy, but really you're desperately poor, blind, and naked. Jesus knew that he had something to offer that last day church. And it was faith that works by love, this, this gold that he had to give. It was a, a white garment, a white raiment made of his own righteousness. And it was an eye salve for eye problems of people who could not see that despite their apparent blessing from God, they really did not have Jesus at the heart of their life and soul. Could it be that you and I and the wealth that we live in also do not feel the true poverty that we have? We need to ask for the eye salve of the Holy Spirit to open our eyes to all that we could be through Jesus. He wants to teach us deeply through this powerful message to the Laodicean church. I invite you to go to reachtheworldnextdoor.com under spiritual resources to find eight lessons that will help you to dig into this message. Because now more than ever, Jesus matters.